Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to add the taxi feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next, under the edit test and go live section, click on edit. Now to add the taxi feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search taxi. Click on the future to add it to your app. Once you've added the future, you will see the future listed in my future section where you can edit, customize, and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the future and you will have options to show hide the future, edit and customize the future, delete the future, and move the future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added taxi future. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the future. This is your future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click on the manage button to start configuring the taxi feature. This is your one-time setup, which needs to be completed. In order to process, proceed to the dashboard. First is the region section. Here you can specify the regions where this feature will work. Select the country from the drop-down, then specify the regions. You can add multiple regions if you want. Once done, click on save and continue. Next is the vehicle type section. Here you can add your vehicle details. Specify the vehicle type and maximum seats available in the vehicle. From here you can upload a vehicle image. Here you can provide the vehicle fare details. Once you provided the required details, click on save and continue. Next comes general settings. Here you can configure the settings for the taxi feature. Set the service, charge, admin percentage, distance unit, currency code, booking radius, and city radius. Once done, click on save and continue and you'll be redirected to the taxi dashboard. On the dashboard, you can review the statistics such as the revenue for the date, month, year, and total revenue. Further, you can also view the ongoing bookings and their details on the dashboard itself. Let's move to the region section now. Click on regions in the side menu and here you will see the regions that you added in the initial setup section. Now let's add a new region. Click on the add new region button here and provide the necessary details. Select the country and enter the location in this field. If you want, you can add multiple locations. Once done, click on save and here you will see your added region. Now click on vehicle type in the side menu. Here you will see the already configured vehicle type. To add a new vehicle type, click on the add vehicle type button here and then provide the relevant details. Once you're done providing the required details, click on save and here you will see your added vehicle type. Now coming to the vehicle type city, here you will see the combination of your added city or region and the vehicle type that you added in the respective sections. Next, click on company in the side menu. In the company section, you will see your added companies. You can search as well, filter the company from here. Let's add a new company now. Click this button here and provide the required details. Once you provided the required details, click on save. And here you will see your added company and its details. Now let's move ahead and check out the tax section. To add a tax, click on tax in the sign menu. Then click add new tax. Here you will see two tabs, example, region-based and company-based. You can define tax region-wise or company-wise. First, let's add tax for the region. Select country and region, then enter a tax name and set the tax percentage in this field. Once done, hit save. And here you will see your added tax and its details. Similarly, you can add tax company-wise by selecting a company-based option and then defining the company tax name and tax percentage. Once you add it to tax, you'll see it here. Similarly, you can add a miscellaneous tax for the taxi service. Click on miscellaneous tax in the sign menu, then click add on the tax button and provide the required details, including tax type, tax name, and tax value. Now let's go to the CMS page section. Here you can edit and update the terms and conditions and privacy policy for both the driver and passenger. Come into email templates. Here you will see all the preset emails that will be sent to the drivers and the passengers. If you want, you can change the templates as per your needs by hovering and clicking on the three dot icon 
next to your selected template. Now let's move on to the settings section, which is further divided into general settings, passenger language, driver language, and configuration settings. Under general settings, you can configure location-based settings, driver app settings, and other settings. Under passenger's language settings, you can manage all the text and alerts displayed in your passenger app. Similarly, you can manage all the text and alerts displayed in the, in the driver app from the driver language settings section. Now coming to configuration settings. Here you need to provide the PubNub, Publish Key, and Subscribe Key for GPS tracking. If you don't know how to obtain these, then you can refer to the tutorial here. Once you provided the required keys, click on the Authenticate button. Next, for map settings, provide the Google API key for Android and iOS. You can refer to our tutorial to obtain these. Once you provided the required keys, click on Save and Continue. Now click Driver in the side menu to manage drivers. Under the driver list, you'll find all the drivers listed and the driver's details. Let's add a new driver now. Click on the Add Driver button and provide the required details in the Profile tab. Once done, click on Save to continue. Under the Vehicle tabs, you can add a vehicle details. Once you're done edit, adding the details, click on Save. Now here you will see your added driver. You can also increase the driver limit by clicking here. Driver limit is provided as per your plan. In the verification section, you will see the drivers that are yet to be verified under Rejected and Accepted section. You will find the drivers that you have rejected and approved respectively. Similarly, under the Offline and Online section, you will see the drivers that are unavailable and available respectively. Under Booked and Not Booked sections, you will see the drivers that are booked and not booked respectively. Next comes Promo Code. Click on the Add New Promo Code button to add a promo code. Once you provided the required details, click on save and here you will see your added promo code and its details. Now let's move ahead and go to the pay payment section settings. Set up the payment method as per your preference in this section and once done, click on save. Come into the manage booking section. Here you will see all the bookings made by the users. Next, click on passenger rating in the sign menu. Here you will see the rating and reviews given by the passengers to drivers. Similarly, under the driver review section, you will find the ratings and reviews given by the drivers to the passengers. You can activate or deactivate the reviews as per your preference. Now let's move ahead and go to the invoice history section. The last option is feedback, which is further categorized into driver feedback, passenger feedback, in the respective sections. You can check the driver and passenger feedback. Now let's go back and change the layout and color scheme of the taxi future. Click on this color palette icon to change the future style and color scheme. Set the future elements, color, and font size from here. If you want, you can turn on this toggle to enable a navigation button on the header. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this future. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials and the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon here and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add a new credentials if you want. Once you're done with the changes, all the edits and changes will be saved automatically. However, you can also save them manually by clicking this button here. Now click on the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.